Hey, teachers! Today we are talking about the student engagement. There are three parts included in this video. First, we're gonna talk about the definition of the student engagement. Then, why is it important? Lastly, we will share some specific examples to engage the students. All right, let's get started. What is student engagement? To simply put in data, we need our students to get motivated and participate in our one-on-one -on -one classes so that they can learn and make academic progress. Why is student engagement important? For students, good engagement shows the degree of their attention, enjoyment, and motivation. In other words, they are more concentrated, much happier, and become more active. Those are the key to help them make improvement of language learning. While for teachers, the more the students are engaged, the more likely they could become your regulars. Plus, it could increase teacher's sense of achievement, as well as reputation. Now let's see how we can engage the students. Here, we'd like to recommend for effective ways to increase engagement. They are TPR movement, teaching props, personalization, activities, and games. First one is to use TPR skills, movement, and gestures to convey meanings. TPR stands for a Total Physical Response. It means teachers and students have to do something physical in response to language. Then learning is more meaningful, and students learn faster. Let's take a look at a good example. What's missing? She no eyes. Can you draw? What's here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, Jenny. One. Yay! Good job. Double high five. Yeah. Two eyes. Two eyes. Two eyes. Where are your eyes? Eyes? Nose? Show me your nose. Yeah, and? The next one is to use various teaching props to attract students' attention, especially for young kids. We recommend our teachers to prepare some realia, flashcards, puppets, toys, rewarding system, and whiteboard. In order to make the class nice, personalization could really help. Here, we have an acronym NICE. Can you guess what the NICE means? The letter N stands for needs. I for interests. C for contents. And E for experiences. For the needs, students learn language for different purposes. They might learn English for uh, studying abroad, pronunciation, fluency, or tests. Interests. We suggest that our teachers should plan the lessons that match students' preferences. What's their favorite food, favorite sports, and hobbies? Contents. We suggest that teachers should localize the courseware, such as phonics, vocabulary, reading, grammar, drawing, and singing. Experiences. Try to make the class connect with their previous experiences, such as, have you ever been there? Have you seen this before? We can personalize a class according to these four dimensions to make class more animated and lively. We are all better at remember things that we find interesting, the same as the students. Just try to find contents are relevant and engaging. Spring festival. Spring festival. And what are these things? Yes. 
Can you tell me what's the name in English? Red envelopes. Very good. Red envelopes or red packets. Wow, bring it closer. Let me see it. Wow, I've never seen one in real life. Wow, can you turn it around? Okay. So, what do the red envelopes or red packets have inside? They have money. They have money. And what do you do with the money? Buy, buy ice cream. <laughs> Last but not least, integrating activities and games also plays an important role throughout the class. Here is a list of activities and games we recommend for our teachers such as choose a lie, tic-tac-toe, pictionary, and color game. When playing academic games in the class, students will apply a range of knowledge and skills without even realizing it. Let's see some nice examples. What do you do inside? Um. I play in the I play inside. I play inside? Yes. Okay, I will give it to you. Next time, tell me what you play. Do you play violin? Guitar? Play play toy. Okay, okay. Play with toys, but okay, good. Good, good, good. No, me. Me, 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 me. What do you do in, in that? I watch TV inside. Student engagement is the key to ensure the balance of students' and teachers' interaction during the class. It might take time and efforts. However, Trying these various techniques is a great start. Thanks for watching. Hope you can enjoy teaching at Dada.